Hi, my name is Ellie. I am a creative arts therapist and my practice is based in Springhouse Therapy Centre in South Tipperary. I've been working with children and adults with Down syndrome and other additional needs for a number of years and I've also worked for a national leading bereavement charity in the UK. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the tools that we can use as creative arts therapists and why they might be helpful for you and your family to use at home. So for children and adults with Down syndrome, their grief journey might be very different to what we might expect. Straight after a grief, they might be full of emotion and grieving, or they might appear very distant from what has happened. Um, it's really important to respect the individual and understand that everybody's grief process is so different. What we can find a lot with people with Down syndrome is that their grief can come a bit later and that maybe six months down the line or a year down the line or maybe something small has just happened in the home or a pet has died or some, somebody's moved away then it brings back a whole big lot of grief feeling that can feel a bit disproportionate to what the actual issue or um, challenge might be for them. It can be really handy to have some of the tools I'm going to show you uh, available to you um, but also to link in with your local psychological support, with your local uh, speech and language therapies and also to link in here with um, your local branch of Down Syndrome um, and here we're fortunate to have Down Syndrome Tipperary in Thurlis. <laughs>